Today, I'm spending a week in Greece with 11 strangers. Yup, a bunch of people I had never met before, minus a few, and we're all going to be living in the same house for seven days straight. But let me catch you up to speed on how I ended up here. So a few months earlier, I stumbled upon this wellness retreat in Topanga, California called Moy House, where I met the founder, Nicole Moingo. And about a month later, she invited me to her next wellness retreat in Crete, Greece. Now, around this time frame, I was really starting to prioritize my own health and well-being because the year before that, my mental health was really not the best. So when I found Moy House, I was drawn to it without really knowing why. And the whole experience turned out to be something I'll never forget. I was a little nervous because yeah. I didn't know what to expect from this. It's the first time that I go to a place in where I literally know only myself. Yeah. And I found out that I didn't know myself for oh. sure, like a whole. All right, guys, so I just got here to Crete, Greece. I'm really excited. I cannot wait for what this next week will bring. We have a really breathtaking, beautiful house, and we even have our own like private secluded beach, which is so beautiful. You can hear the waves crashing right in front of me. But yeah, we're on our first night. Everyone's just kind of trickling in, getting settled, and then we have a really, really lovely dinner planned. Retreat. Now before I get on with this video, let me first introduce you to everyone. My name is Jason and I'm a therapist based out of Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Glenn from London. I'm a lawyer and a stand-up comedian. My name is Jocelyn. I am a conscious movement teacher. My name is Anastasia. I'm a yoga teacher living and based in Lisbon. My name is Nick Capolino. I live in Atlanta, Georgia and my expertise is yoga therapy. My name is Charlie. I come from Texas. I sell homes for a living and then as far as passion, I love to write poetry. I'm Beth Lockman and I am the founder of Tiny Elephant, which is a creative impact studio. My name is Gina. I am a photographer and yoga instructor. I'm Kaylee. I'm from the Netherlands and I work for Mui Wellness as an event coordinator. Hi, um, my name is Nicole Muyingo. I am founder of Mui House. I'm Chris Sirak. I'm a co-leader, facilitator, practitioner, and attendee at the Mui Wellness Retreats. Love all the faces that I'm seeing already. <laughs> And the smiles that are starting to grow. Hello, hello, good morning everyone. I finally had a good night's rest. We have a really lovely day planned and starting off this morning with some morning yoga. It's about 8 a.m. so I'm gonna head downstairs. So I usually teach vinyasa and yinaya and I always love to combine things that I'm interested about. Mui House or Mui Wellness, which is our experience side of things, is it's a collective of a like-minded community focused on wellness and sustainability and creativity. And you know, I've traveled quite a lot in the world and and throughout my travels and when I go to different countries and spend time with uh, different locals and communities I, I you know even though the architecture was different the food was different the one thing that always remained the same was community and the need of community and connection so you know we start each day with some movement whether it's yoga or Pilates or conscious movement and then we will lead that into a meditation practice around mindfulness and you know body scanning welcome to our day one morning meditation if we look really closely we can tell that there's silence there's spaciousness then we will um, have an amazing breakfast to really kind of fuel our bodies and we try to eat everything organic, locally sourced. We work with different chefs who always create such an amazing menu based on the location and um, where we are. All right, so just finished breakfast. I'm feeling much more energized. We did our morning meditation and our morning yoga and it was all really wonderful. I'm feeling relaxed, very calm. Then we will follow the day by a workshop led by different experts and touching on various subjects 
subject. This is going to be a workshop about reactivity. When we start becoming aware of the changing nature of life and the changing nature within ourselves, when we start to see things as they are and allow them to arise and pass, and this flow starts to develop, this flow of change and this acceptance of change, it flips on its head, where we're now just experiencing change everywhere. But life will bring you that break. So we just finished the reactivity workshop with Chris, and I would say main takeaways is, yeah, oftentimes a lot of us react to situations, meaning we react to the way that we wish a situation was, and that's what causes us to be so reactive rather than responding, which is to a situation as it is. And I think for a lot of us, we're oftentimes reacting, and so it creates maybe like an emotional response, or when something doesn't go our way, it can feel like maybe things are falling apart as opposed to just responding, which probably will make you feel a lot more calm and just accepting the situation as it is and going from there. After the workshop, we have some free time where people can journal and really integrate what they've learned. Then we will have lunch. Also another amazing culinary experience. Followed by some sort of playful activity, something to really encourage creative exploration. Color and play and try to stay within the lines. <laughs> or don't. That sort of takes me into the sensory play that we really love to touch on with every retreat that we do. You know, sensory play is very much encouraged in children. Um, as they're developing their motor skills and it's such an important part of development and as adults we forget that we, we also need sensory play and so as much as we work on our minds and our bodies and um, it's also important to you know play and, and do things such as coloring and painting to um, really evoke those feelings and we do try to stimulate all different senses so mind body and soul all right guys so we just finished the workshop with nicole i don't remember the last time i colored and it's about 6 30 p.m now dinner i think is almost ready it's almost gonna get served but i think we have a little bit of downtime right now and then we'll have another feast great memories good yeah. people and great. abundance things too about this experience has been the dinners because I feel like during yeah. dinners it's like there's a culmination of how the day went and then a lot of times I'm seeing this when people have been very expressive about yeah. their personal lives and we really bond over shared experiences and we learn a lot about the intricacies of each individual person. Hello, hello, good morning. Today we have a bit of an excursion. We're gonna be going and doing an olive oil tasting and then a cooking class, so I'm pretty excited. Good morning. Yeah. Here we eat products that are around the circle of nature. We eat tomato in summer, we eat cabbage in winter. At the same time, make it crusty yeah. while you cook it, right? Done this before. Right. You are there. My favorite part was experiencing the culture. So, like going into that culinary experience, cooking with our hands, making the food, and then being welcomed into the home of these Greek people that live here, and just experiencing the cuisine and having friends and family from all over the world come together and be like one, yeah. one big family. Yeah. That's amazing. Have you ever done anything like that? Have you cooked in that way before? You know, the I, Greek moms. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know, we were like calling her mom, and like, hey mom, you know, I yeah. love that. It was, and she was so welcome, she's like, come back anytime, yeah. you're welcome. Personally, I love to cook, but I've yeah. never had an experience that was so authentic that you just got pulled into like a house and learned about their family and then cooked with them and then they help you cook. And But yeah, it was such an incredible experience, so authentic and so real and so immersive and, and grounding and, and nourishing for my soul. And you start moving it in your palm, more than just <laughs> give me 
Oh. Like this, bravo. So, the flavor started to develop. Eh? One of my favorite activities was, I think it, it would be the cooking class and the olive oil tasting because it was so local and I never did an olive oil tasting before, so that was a new experience to me. <laughs> For me, that one's bitter. Very yeah, peppery. Yeah. Bitter, good. I didn't know there were so many different kind of olive oils and that you could really taste the difference. So yeah, that was a great experience. Hey guys, hello! Today we are on a yacht. This is gonna be epic. I mean, the yachting. Have you guys seen the yachting videos? My God, and the dress. Ah, oh, that was a lot of fun. How is the water? It's it's clear. It's it's cold. it's it's not super. It's a little cold. But <laughs> it's clear. Not like it's clear. The water though. is it's clear. Cold but cold clear. And clear. Cold and clear. <laughs> <laughs> I was leading some energizing practice in the morning through vinyasa yoga, a practice that I really cherish and nourish and it's for me the best way to start a day so I was very happy to be able to guide everyone here. Moving down to your left cheek, onto your right cheek. Tell us a bit about the meditations that you led each morning. We did a 30 yeah. minutes in the morning and in yeah. the evening so bookend our days right. to reground ourselves, to reconnect mm. with our body and then even throughout there's little reminders to, mm. to stay present with, with what we're doing so that mm. we can fully experience it and not get lost in thought. Mm. It's the getting lost in thought which you know happens 60-70% of our day we, we spend you know not present because we're, we're lost in these thought loops these rabbit holes it takes practice it's mm -hmm. like going to the gym you yeah. have to develop your awareness muscle of your thoughts arising and that you have a choice to accept them or not to good morning actually it's about to be 11 o'clock p.m. we just had our morning yoga with Anastasia and our morning meditation with Chris we also did no speaking until 11 a.m. so silence in the morning and then after meditation we did breakfast which was so so amazing, like, oh! And we are now about to head downstairs for another workshop with Beth and Jocelyn. Single practice that you have in your in your in your day, like by any chance, male cinema, and then that automatically goes to. I mean, the classes and the workshops are the work. highlight. Feeling really, really centered on those, uh, yeah. learning a lot. But I also remember that I can be better, that I can also become this other person, that I can be more receiving that I can let myself go and just notice that I'm worthy because I'm worthy. Workshops led by the amazing people that we had here. Nurturing. Good. Yes. I would say you were correct. Yeah, everybody just brought his little spice, his little vitamin, his little gift and magic. We just went for a little dip into the ocean, um, a part of Nick's workshop. I feel really incredible. It was the first time that I went in, but basically we kind of took off or parts or knots on our body where we felt like disempowering emotions, kind of like released it into the water and just kind of like let out whatever noise, screams that we wanted to. Just felt like such a big release. How was it for you? It was liberating, a lot of release, and uh, got to dive in the sea of seawater. It was good. Something brand new for me. Charlie penetrated me with his masculine energy, and that's it's a new experience. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was an amazing experience. I have never had something like that in my life. Extend and reach up through the chest. Exhale, fold a little deeper. 
words that are coming to me are um, renewal, tranquility, presence, and peace. I love those words. I would, I would agree. I don't think I felt this stress-free in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely stress-free. Now inhale to tune in. meditation. Keep breathing. And so from an intentionality perspective where it gets to have this beautiful reciprocity model. I feel like it's hard to imagine a better group. We just, we're all so different, but the way that we fit together has been really magical to witness and to be a part of. Pretty early on, we all kind of just clicked and found our place within the group, but as the time went on and as we shared more and opened up more, just really created this safe space for one another, and it's been really, really special. I feel like I've made lifelong friends. Everyone is cool, awesome. Everybody fits in so well with everyone. Every one of us made a connection so deeper to each other that we consider that we're together for life already. Oh, that's so it sweet. It was beautiful. <laughs> Last night we had a really lovely dinner down by the seaside and just being really open in conversation and seeing the way it flows, how comfortable everyone is with each other. It is really heartwarming and it feels like we've kind of built a family over the past few days. The barbecue was a really fun scene and then doing the noble silence meditation, walk along the beach was really nice. And then people got a chance to socialize and stuff mm -hmm. afterwards and it, that just felt like after a long week of us doing workshops and a lot of yoga and hip openers and heart right. openers. It felt nice to just sort of ground in and then, I don't know, love on each other, so, mm. yeah. I think it's so fascinating how strangers kind of come together from all different parts of the world and with strong intentions to heal, to grow and to transform, we all just become like one big family and these connections will last a lifetime. This is something that we'll all remember for the rest of our lives and we'll always continue to be connected in that way. <laughs> So we just went into the water wearing our sarong togas and that was so amazing, so incredible. Basically, we set our intention before we went in, maybe something that we wanted to release and released it and went into the water and it just felt so amazing, so freeing. I feel so at peace. I feel more healed even. It was amazing. Time to head up. We have a PDO wines, you know, protected designation of origin. What else do we see? No sediment, right? Have a small sip, normally, to understand the wine. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Guys, no, I come on. I don't have to. There you are, my dear. We collaborate. We collaborate. Just to kill more Like a scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as the back rubs, but possible. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm trying my how's, how's the wine, Charlie? It sounds like you're. You know what? It's something like I've never tasted before in California or Texas or US. Oh. It's fresh. Cheers. British California meets Texas. It's true. Texas. Hello guys, so it's the last evening, it's the last dinner. It's getting set up right behind me and oh my gosh, it was amazing. I really cannot stress that enough. This this entire week has been, it has been transformative. I really didn't, I, going into this, I didn't, I wasn't sure if it would be, <laughs> but it really was. You know, I didn't know anyone coming into this really. Everyone was just a bunch of strangers, but I think the really beautiful thing that we were all able to do was connect and partake in our own self-growth and self-development. So it was amazing and we're about to head into our last dinner.
Thank you to Nicole, Chris, and Kelly, Leah, and everyone else who facilitated with the workshop or even just your presence. A quote that comes to mind about this Moy wellness experience is that community is immunity. Right? And when you, when you get together with people that nourish you, that encourage you, that inspire you, that genuinely care about your well-being and you becoming the best version of you, it feels so good. It's an undescribable feeling. Thank you.